Today I'll show you how to delete the EFI partition on a hard drive. Remember that partitions that are usually not deletable by the disk manager are not deletable for a reason. And the reason is that they are essential for your hard drive you have your operating system on. If this, however, is a hard drive you want to use as a backup, you can go ahead and delete all partitions that are not deletable via Disk Manager. Hold Windows key and click R. Now you will get up the Run dialog. Write in diskmgmt.msc and click Enter. This will give you the disk management. This program lists your disks. This is my hard drive and this is my other hard drive that I want to use to store data on. This has a operated system installed on it as well and you can see it, it has a recovery partition and the EFI system. These can be removed but they can't be removed using disk management. But for what we need to do we'll need to actually use command prompt. Click on your Windows key or the Start menu icon and write CMD. Now you'll right click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Inside the Command Prompt you will write in the following. Disk Part. Click Enter. Now you will write in List Disk. Now you will get all the hard drives available. They are listed in the same order as you can see in Disk Management. Using Disk Management will also help you to recognize that this is the proper hard drive. You can also of course browse File Explorer. Now that you have made sure the disk you want to use, you simply write in Select Disk and the disk you want to select. I want to of course select Disk 1. Now when we have selected the disk, you'll write in list partition. Now you see the following partitions. They are listed in order. And now to delete the partition you want to delete, you'll simply select the partition. To delete the EFI partition, you of course need to select it. And we already deleted the previous partition. You can see here the second partition in line because these are placed in order is of course the EFI system partition. So to delete that partition we will write select partition 2. To delete the partition you will write delete partition override. The partition is successfully deleted, as you can see right there. Hope this video has helped you, and if it did, please leave a like, subscribe and comment of what you want to see next or any questions. I'll usually answer them. So, see you next time, because this is your host, Jim Resm, signing out.